tell us. Thank you so much for being here. Of course, thank you for having me. Hi. Yeah, of course. Uh, I wanted to bring you all here so that we can discuss the addition of a new Academy Award category. Hit me. I know, it's exciting, right? Uh, the name of this category, Best Popular Film. Wow. Wow, I love it. I know, it's amazing. Ho hold on, why would why would we do that? If, if the popular films want awards, why don't they just make better movies. What are you talking about, man? Oh, Todd, I'm sorry about him. Uh, you don't understand. We're not a, a award show for recognizing good art. Since when is the Academy about recognizing bad art? Oh, Todd, remember 2014? The Oscar goes to Eddie Redmayne! Oh, yeah. Never mind. Yeah, it sucks. Well, anyways, let's get back to work. Hey, guys, Meryl Streep, am I right? <laughs> Uh, hey everyone, uh, Carson Runquist here. As a lot of you know, the Oscars slash the Academy, whatever, have made the brilliant idea of adding a new category to the award show. The name of this category, Best Popular Film. Best Popular Film. Adding a popular films category. Yeah. They're actually adding a new category. You're gonna see like the Black Panthers, the maybe even Mission Impossible followed this year. There's uproar that the Academy is trying to recognize movies like Black Panther without the prestige. Don't like this idea at all. I'm a little late to this, I know, and it's because uh well, actually, I don't really have an excuse. But I, like pretty much everyone else, was pretty pissed about it. I'm pissed for obvious reasons. One being, what the hell is a popular film? Like, at what point do you cross the line and, and all of a sudden you're like, oh, this is popular now? Like, I thought I was popular in high school. You know, I wasn't. Second reason being, if popular movies want awards, make award worthy movies. Make movies that are actually good, m movies that, that deserve these kind of things, not just cash grabs. And the third reason being, I think they're making the, the show longer, I think that's something I heard somewhere. And certain awards, I'm assuming, are going to be given out during commercial breaks and, and not broadcasted, which is pretty bad. I can already assume these awards will maybe be tech heavy, like best editing VFX or something, or maybe they'll be like foreign films, documentary, the shorts, you know, things the general public doesn't really care about and I'm not necessarily saying that you know the general public should care about them it's it's normal to not really but I think that the Oscars should you know this isn't to say that everyone working in the industry is aiming towards the Oscars it's not like that's the big goal that's that's not what I'm saying people who are working in the film industry are working there because they love the craft but winning an Oscar gives you a lot more exposure it grows your audience and it gives you the ability to possibly in the future make an even bigger film an even better film it means a lot to a lot of people there is a reason they exist and I think this is more important for those in these lesser known categories so basically what the Academy is doing is go hey nobody really cares about you guys people are people aren't gonna watch if you guys are in there so uh, let's let's just boo you guys out and uh, bring in the Disney films the films that don't need this at all Ugh, okay geez I'm, I'm getting too ahead of myself but I could go, I could go on the point of this video is that I, I don't think necessarily adding more categories is a bad idea I just think this is a stupid one I think that if you're going to add more categories which I think is is exciting make good ones, things that need a little bit more recognition in the film industry. We already know what the most popular movies are, we just you just check the box office and, and maybe choose your favorite one. We don't need to know about these. So without any further ado, I have a few suggestions for maybe some better Oscar categories. This would be a lot, and I know it'll probably never happen, and I know the Academy thinks it's stupid. I, you probably all think it's stupid, too. I, I don't care. I know a lot of you are probably looking at this like, oh, what about the other genres, huh? Just, just shut up. Please. I'm just referencing how the Golden Globes do it. I think when you have specific genre categories like this, uh, it allows for more movies that don't necessarily get a lot of recognition to be a part of the awards. It, it, it doesn't limit it so much. It doesn't feel like you have to squeeze so many awards into one category. You can, you can split them up into a few basic genres. Because, you know, sometimes I, at least I see some nominations and I'm like, how am I supposed to pick between these kind of films? I mean, it's they are completely different movies doing completely different things what am i what am i gonna do but with something like this you can look at a bunch of different comedies a bunch of different dramas and be like okay this is a little bit easier to pick from again probably won't happen definitely won't happen actually but you know why not so this is a bit of an odd one right I, again pretty unrealistic i know but it's worth 
talking about. I say it's pretty unrealistic because you can only really have so much good voice acting in one year. At the same time though, I feel like voice acting is a completely new talent in itself. Being able to act with the camera in your face is one thing, but having to portray an entire character with just your voice? That's a, that's a talent. I, I look at movies that came out this year, like The Incredibles 2 being a pretty great example. A lot of the voice actors in that film did an amazing job. It doesn't even feel like we're listening to actors portray characters. They f feel like we're actually watching real people in this film. And if you think they're going to acknowledge good voice acting in the real acting category, uh, they're not. You look at films like Anomalisa that came out a few years ago, which was like mind-blowing the way they did the voice acting in that, and that didn't get really any recognition for its for its voice at all. It got a best animated nomination, but you know what I'm talking about. So again, very unrealistic, has some reasons not to be there, but still a little bit more worthy than best popular film. Now this is one I can actually see happening. I've felt like this needed to be a part of the awards for years now. I don't see it getting much airtime, but I feel like it should be added. I say that because good color correction is undeniably an art in itself. There is a good way to do it, and there's a bad way to do it, and then there's just the right way to do it. In my opinion, it, it has just as much significance as the cinematography. I've just seen a lot of films where I feel like the color correction really deserves a lot more recognition than it's getting. If we're talking about like a classic, just look at The Matrix. That, that whole movie would not be what it is had it not been for the color correction. And then you can look at recent examples like Tangerine, and Moonlight and 2049, it goes on. Color correction has a significant effect on how the film is viewed and analyzed, so it might be worth recognizing that. Let's be real. Putting out a great film right off the bat is a huge achievement. I think that adding a category like this, either best debut or best new filmmaker, would be a great idea because there are a lot of great debuts that come out every single year that deserve a lot more recognition. You know, I think if the Grammys can have something like best new artist, why can't the Oscars have best new director or best debut film, you know? It's just a nice way of giving a filmmaker who clearly knows what they're doing a nice little push and a, and a bit more recognition. While I don't see the Oscars ever putting any of these categories in the award show or giving them any consideration, um, I still think that this is worth discussing. I also think we can all agree that these are all better than best popular film. I'm still gonna watch the Oscars, you know, it, they're, they're still entertaining. But if this proves anything, it proves that the Oscars, the biggest film award show in the world, doesn't care about film. I hope you guys enjoyed this. If you guys have suggestions for other possible categories, please comment them below. I'd love to get into it, uh, and I'll see you guys in the next one.